hope you're having a fantastic weekend so far. Are you ready for MKIDS? Do you have your snacks or hot chocolate ready? Okay, great. Let's begin. Everyone does something wrong now and then, right? I'm not alone. I'm not a bad person. It's just a judgment error or a movement of weakness. <laughs> Move on, I guess. But it feels like there's a splint in my hand. I heard somewhere some de someone described it like this. I can go on but, and tackle life, but there is something that bothers me, like a splinter that I cannot stop touching. I feel guilt guilty, disappointed. I'm afraid it's catching up with me. What will you think of me if you knew who I really am or what I did? It's like a dead weight I carry that makes me unable to live such a free life. It, and it makes me feel like I cannot laugh fully. But then you invite me into a space and teach me how to say sorry. You teach me just how to forgive, not just anyone else, but you teach me to forgive myself as well. You teach me to let go of my guilt and disappointment and anxiety. You pull out that splinter. And then I can turn to you and say, I'm so sorry, I was wrong. I can breathe, I'm free. I can try again and I feel better. Let's read together. You are kind, God. Please have pity on me. You are always merciful. Please wipe away my sins. I had sinned and done wrong things since the day I was born. Turn your eyes from my sin and cover my guilt. Create pure thoughts in me and make me thankful again. Make me as happy as you did when you saved me. Make me want to obey. Keep me from any deadly sin. Only you can save me. Then I will shout and sing about your power to save. King David, who wrote the Psalms, teaches us what saying sorry can mean to our health in terms of our emotions, thoughts, and our spiritual lives. We learned through the stories in the Bible that God forgives us and helps us to try again, but He still invites us to say sorry. Why? Doesn't He know how sorry we are? I think God knows that when we say sorry, something very important and very needed happens in us. The whole me gets better. It is almost as if the guilt or disappointment or worry about what we have done makes us sick in a way. Maybe you feel it in your body, but especially in your hearts and thoughts. The psalmist pours his whole heart out before God and says sorry. He uses his words to tell God how he feels. It helps him to go on with God. He asks God to renew his life and God does that. That is why he sent Jesus so we can be free and live a new life with Him, where we can really, really, hear on the inside, be healthy and happy. That is amazing. Does that sound like something you want to grab on? You can use your words to talk to God about what you feel you have done wrong. Sometimes it can be really difficult to allow God to free you from your guilt and the stuff that bothers you, but He teaches us how. He reminds us about His big love for us, and there's, that there is nothing we can do to earn or lose His love. It is a gift. Then from this talking with God, you get the courage to tell the people in your life sorry for what you did. It can mean so much for a relationship. You will just see how much lighter and better the whole you will feel. Ask God to help you if it is difficult. Use your words. Talk to God about what you feel guilty about and He will help you just as He helped David. God is eager to forgive you and to teach you to forgive yourself so that you can enjoy His freedom. Through you the blind will see, through you the mute will sing, through you the dead will rise, 
Through you all hearts will praise Through you the darkness flees Through you my heart screams I am free Through you the mute will sing Through you the dead will rise Through you all hearts will praise Through you the darkness flees Through you my heart screams I am free Let's pray together. Jesus, thank you for knowing us and for knowing what we need to feel better as whole people. Father, we come to you and we, we want to say sorry for the things that we've done that wasn't according to your will. Thank you for your forgiveness. Thank you for your freedom and for allowing us to enjoy life with you. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Bye.